-hmm. order to master them, not only do you have to know pruritus and the KOH prep, but you have to kind of go into your Greek and Latin roots. There's, for example, tinea capitis. Mm -hmm. There's going to be, for example, tinea corporis. Mm -hmm. There's going to be tinea cruris, right? Mm -hmm. There's going to be tinea pedis. Mm -hmm. There's going to be tinea unguinum. Okay. There's going to be tinea versicolor, what we also call pityriasis. Mm -hmm. So now for your USMLE, let's yeah. go ahead and figure out what are going to be the various things that you have to know. First thing okay. we'll start with is tinea capitis. Now tinea mm -hmm. capitis is going to be in a patient who has alopecia, basically mm -hmm. hair loss, and that mm -hmm. hair loss is going to be in a smooth area. Remember that mm -hmm. it's a smooth hair loss with posterior occipital lymphadenopathy because that's where kind of the scalp um, drains to. This is different than when somebody on your USMLE has the hair shafts that are broken in various um, uh, lengths. That's going to be trichotillomania. That's more of like a uh, that's more of a psychiatric disorder related to OCD. Got it. Mm -hmm. OCD. But this okay. is associated with posterior occipital lymphadenopathy, alopecia, and mm -hmm. scaling right there as well. The key okay. for tinea capitis is that you're going to use grisial fulvin, and that's going to be a systemic or oral agent. And the way that I remember that is you think about greasy hair, greasy hair. Okay. Tinea corporis usually is going to be on your torso. They're going to put on your exam questions that the patient is like a wrestler. And after wrestling, this patient has this rash, and this rash has very raised borders, that's high yield, mm -hmm. and this uh, central um, uh, clearing. Okay. The so raised rash with central clearing, and you can use a topical azole to treat that. But this is going to be more acquired from contact. So some of the exam questions can say, how do you best prevent this? And it sanitized the mats for the rest of it. Okay. Yeah, crurus is going to be what we call jock itch. And this occurs in the inguinal region. There is not going to be any central clearing, but it's just going to mm -hmm. be severe itching in that area. Got it. Okay. Tinea pedis is going to be athlete's foot. Now, athlete's foot with tinea pedis, what you have to understand is that your differential diagnosis, because it's going to happen again, if this is the foot in the interdigitory area, what's going to be your differential with itching in that interdigital area? Um, we just talked about it. Oh, well, scabies. Scabies is one. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So tinea pedis and scabies, how do you tell them apart? Usually on your USMLE, tinea pedis is going to have nail involvement. Okay. And again, because you can't use a topical agent, you can use griseofulvin for teen, uh, uh, tinea uh, pedis, or you can use a powder uh, as well. Okay. Okay. Now, tinea unguinum, this is going to be the true nail infection. Mm -hmm. you're, if you have tinea unguinum, you're going to most likely need to use a systemic agent such as griseofulvin or even terbenafine. Mm -hmm. And then tinea versicolor, these are going to be the buzzwords related to tinea versicolor, which is going to be the last one. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be, they go on a adventure, i.e. on a vacation, the patient comes back and some areas of the skin are tan, the other areas of the skin are not. And they can even show you the picture of their body. And what they'll look at is here's tan, 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 and then some areas that are hypopigmented. Got it. And in this scenario, this is pityriasis or what we call tinea versicolor. Mm -hmm. It is going to have a very important mechanism. And the mechanism here is that you have the hypopigmentation because mm -hmm. you inhibit tyrosinase. Yeah. Now remember that tyrosinase is the enzyme that is going to take your 
precursors and essentially make melanin. Mm -hmm. And so that's why you get the hypopigmentation. If you look at it under the uh, microscope, you'll see mm -hmm. spaghetti and meatballs appearance. That's yes. a buzzword. And this is related to malassezia fervor. And you use selenium derivatives in order to treat mm -hmm. it. So it's it. teneal infections usually present with itching, KOH prep, and you're going to figure out the Greek and Latin roots as to where they're going to affect. And you're going to understand the specific characteristics.